Welcome back to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, first Gord the Rogue short story that was a standalone, and it was in issue 100 of the Dragon. At Moonset Comes Black Cat. Uh, it's an interesting short story. Uh, we learn a lot about Gord, but because this is the first story I ever read with Gord in it, I was pretty confused. So I'm going to take a look at it here, and I'm posting this video after the book of short stories of Gord, Knight Errant, so that you have a little pers perspective on the character before we talk about this story. I want to warn also, there will be spoilers. If you don't want any spoilers, you want to read this on your own, please turn off now. So today, the first Gore the Rogue short story. All right, issue 100 of the Dragon. This is a pretty big deal. Uh, 1985. Pretty exciting uh, thing. It's a nice embossed cover. It's actually a very nice cover. And... It's from August of 85. So this is just before the first Gore of the Rogue came out. Actually, it's right about the time the first Gore of the Rogue novel came out. And the reason I'm talking about that is this is where I first met Gord. We're in the pages of this issue of the Dragon. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here. And get some information on the Druid Ranger, pages of the mages. Come on. There we go. At Moonset Black Cat Comes, A Tale of Gord of Greyhawk by Gary Gygax. And we have some nice illustrations with this, too. Gord and uh, Rex Felis, a man who becomes very important to Gord later in the uh, story. So again, just be aware there are spoilers in this. And I want to say, if you're going to read this story and you want to be interested, you know, have it be new to you, then go ahead and tune out now. Otherwise, we're going to continue. So... At the beginning here, Gygax goes a little bit into the uh, who Gord is, and he talks about the initial work, Gag Sag of Old City, will be available in November. The second book is available in 86. I actually had this dragon for a little while before I read it, and by the time I had actually read it, that magazine was, or that book was out. So he talks a little bit about... Uh, how some people have criticized Chert and Gord as being Fafford and Grey Mouser. Uh, yeah. But anyway, at Moonset, Black Cat comes as a tale of Gord of Greyhawk. We begin with Gord and Chert out for a night of revelry, as seen here. Interesting picture. That's Chert with the curly hair. Um, basically, Chert wants to go out and meet some women and get drunk, and Gord says, no, I, I, I want to go and I want to play some games. And since Role-playing hadn't been invented yet. He'll settle for a nice game of dragon chess. He's not familiar with it, but he'll go ahead and he'll play it. And he plays it against a, a patron of the uh, the bar that they're in named Rex Felis. So Rex Felis teaches him dragon chess, and Gord is very adept at it, and, and very quickly. And before you know it, they're wagering on it. And uh, Gord uh, foolishly wagers a ring that he's acquired at some point in his career. And there's a little conflict on the ring, but I'm not going to get into that now. Uh, so Gord wagers the ring, and Rex Felis beats him at dragon chess. And Gord's, okay, well, here's your ring. You know, I lost. And Rex Felis says, well, don't don't be so quick. I've got a job for you. You know, I know you're Black Cat, a, a thief in Greyhawk, well, of great renown. I need something retrieved. And uh, off Gord goes to a wizard's tower in the city of Greyhawk to retrieve this thing it's it's an interesting fight uh it's an interesting adventure this one reads very much like an adventure module you have your beginning in a tavern you have your meeting with the patron and then off you go on the adventure that being said this is still a fun short story it's not trying to be more than it is which is just a short story about dnd &D. this was a neat look at greyhawk one of the earliest we actually had of Gygax's vision of the city of Greyhawk. So I was pretty excited to read this. Uh, I still read this whenever I read the Knight Errant set because this short story, honestly, should have been in there. Uh, I understand why it was published in Dragon because it worked. It got me to go buy the novels. But it's interesting. Gord goes and he, he takes this quest and he finds out that this wizard's tower, surprise, surprise, is kind of a death trap. Here he is against some wizards. And uh, he's, Gord is trying to figure out how he's going to retrieve the item that he's sent for and get out alive. And finally he says, I, I, I just got to bail. So out Gord goes. 
This reads really more like an old Conan story than anything else of all of the stuff Gygax did. This one felt most like Conan to me. That's not a bad thing. I'm a big Conan fan. I loved Robert E. Howard's stuff. It's just that uh, this one definitely smacks of Howard. So Gord gets back to the uh, the Ship and Crowns, which is the bar that he met Rex, Rex Felis in. He gets back there at the appointed time and says, I, I didn't get it. And uh, Gord's all mad and says, hey, you, you sent me into a death trap. And it turns out Rex Felis, while Gord had everybody distracted, a free tree of the item. <clears throat> because Gord partially succeeded in his mission, which was to, for Rex Felis, distract the bad guys so he could slip in and get the item in question, Rex Felis lets Gord retain the ring, but Gord, Rex Felis had promised to tell Gord more about the ring, but he doesn't. We find out what the ring does in Artifact of Evil and how it's tied into Rex Felis, who we come to know later, and I'm not really giving up much here, we come to know later as the Cat Lord. So, anyway, that's the, uh, the short story presented by Gygax. It's actually a very good issue, or a very good short story in this issue. And Gygax also uses it as an opportunity to introduce us to Dragon Chess, a chess game he made with uh, multiple boards. I read through this. I've never tried it. Uh, anybody who hasn't had success with Dragon Chess, please let me know. Uh, I was always a little intrigued by it, but I honestly never wanted to devote the time to it. So if you've ever played this and had good luck with it, you know, please comment below and let us know. So that's it. I just wanted to... Show you that at Moonset Black Cat comes, and since it fits in with Knight Errant, I would I thought I will do it the same day. Uh, I originally toyed with just making this part of the Knight Errant run, but I decided to make its own stand up standalone video since issue 100 of the Dragon was kind of a big deal. So that's all I've got today on page 121. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.